Hey everybody, Justin Worden and you're watching What's New in Electronics. We are here at IPC Apex in Anaheim. It's 2024 and I'm with Olga with McNano. How are you? Good, how are you? Now, come on, you want to tell me, it's Dr. O. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, it's magic. Oh wait, never mind. Sorry, you might have to edit that out. I don't know if we have the rights to sing that song. But Dr. O at McNano. Don't ask you guys me are singing, yeah, for sure. You're having a great show. I see people all over. Uh, but tell us about some of the new products you guys are releasing. We just, well, we released it at the end of the year. It's polyketone ESD, static dissipative safe laser sintering powder based on a polyketone material, which is more ductile and higher performance compared to typical polyamides that are used in the laser sintering for 3D printing of parts. So, I mean, the, the change in all the new products, is, is that really being driven by technology or is it more like a demand from like an environmental aspect? It's both, it's both. Polyketone is great eco-friendly material from that perspective, from sustainability perspective, but also with the ESD version of it, what we overcome is tendency of composites not to give uniform static dissipative performance in the parts. Our technology is focused on dispersing carbon nanotubes and separating and deagglomerating them, which produces nano-uniform ESD, that's how we call it. Mm -hmm. And in this product, we stepped out of our comfort zone with resins and photopolymers, that's what we started with, and modified actual powders, thermoplastic powders. And a lot of times in the laser sintering of ESD materials is non-uniform performance. There is a insulator spot, so highly conductive spots. In our case, for example, on the four by four inch part or six by six inch part, the static dissipative performance is within one order of magnitude. There is no deviation. So you just gave a very technical answer, which yes, which is very good because you're Dr. O, <laughs> and I'm not I'm not picking on you, but the reason I wanted to bring up that point is that this is a very even for some of the smartest people that have been in the industry for a long time, mm -hmm. it's very hard for them to even recognize that they may need these things. So talk, let's talk less about the technical and more about the service that McNano pro provides to make sure people can make these switches. McNano is a nanomaterial com company. We do not really provide the service. However, we partner with the hardware manufacturers who make 3D printing machines to qualify our materials on those machines. And a lot of them are in various service bureaus throughout the country, here in the US or outside of US, that can manufacture or build parts for end users when required. And you brought up a good point about some people are not aware that they have an issue with ESD materials until they actually have an issue with ESD materials. That um, $10,000 PCB board is just fried because there were no connection. There is no outlet for electrons to go. And we as a team, that's what we're solving with our materials, is providing that nano-uniformity and ESD performance so end users can rely on the tooling fixtures or anything they require ESD to make sure that their components are safe. Absolutely, I mean, it, it's, a lot of these interviews, we, we talk so much about like the perfect scenario, but mm -hmm. the honest truth is, is rarely perfect. And yep. what typically happens is, well, actually, what we hope happens is, hey, we recognize there's an issue, let's fix it before it becomes an mm -hmm. issue. But the reality of the situation is it's, uh-oh, we have an issue, we need to fix it right now. Exactly, exactly. We were not aware of issues either. We actually discovered static dissipative performance in our materials back three or four years ago by accident, and we realized there is a niche in additive manufacturing world, in the 3D printing world, in the resin side specifically, because there are no products for that. And what resin is good at is very small features very high surface finish and the resolution of parts. Unlike other additive technologies, they can build larger parts, but the resolution is much lower. And we work with a lot of electronic manufacturers that create very small parts that you can barely actually see. And every single of those components, like diodes and capacitors, they require that ESD tooling 
that not other additive manufacturing methods were not able to make because there is just no resolution. They can't get to that size. That's why we started with resins and moved along to other technologies as well. And some of, some of the end users, I think, we're still in the process of educating them where it makes sense to actually go additive manufacturing route with ESD safe materials and whether it's worth staying with traditional CNC or injection molding. Yes, but everybody needs solution, not now, but yesterday. <laughs> well, I, th I, think, I think we can wrap it up on this. If you think you're doing an okay job, you probably are. Mm -hmm. We're not here to scare you, but... I'm not scared. We, let's check on it. Maybe we should just and check it, make sure it's going good, because we don't want to get, we don't want to have to deal with the issue after it's mm -hmm. already become an issue. Exactly. So, how do they get a hold of Dr. O? Find me on LinkedIn, shoot me email, send me a text message. Oh, man, it's like pulling teeth here. <laughs> All right, let's go a different way. Give us your website. Mcnano.com. All right, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure working with you today. Have a great show. Absolutely.